This video is brought to you thanks to the generous support of Artenda, a database presenting a clear and high quality overview of art opportunities and open calls for artists. Hello dear readers and subscribers. Welcome to today's video in which we will talk about open calls for artists, something we talk very often on this channel, but I haven't actually shown you the process of finding the right open calls, the right opportunities where you can actually be successful. So in this video, we're going on a journey together to various parts of the world where they are looking for artists, where they might be looking for you, for the art opportunity where you stand a great chance and that can get your career moving and how you can climb the ladder of success via art opportunities. Let's get started. As always, for art opportunities, we highly recommend artenda.net. Yes, there are many different other uh, databases as well, or platforms. However, artenda.net is uh, very uh, global. It focuses on different parts of the world, and it's also a lot easier to um, search for art opportunities. You get a lot of information, including the application fee, uh, the conditions, or for instance, also past winners, which is important to be able to see uh, what level this art, art opportunity is. Is it at an entry level where, for instance, emerging artists and beginner artists can get started? Or is it for more advanced artists where we shouldn't even bother to apply for? So without further ado, we're going to go to artenda.net together and I'm going to illustrate you how you can look for an art opportunity where you have a greater chance of success and also at what key indicators you should be uh, paying attention to in order to make this decision if it's the right fit for you. Please note that artenda.net is a paid subscription, however, they let you try out their service the first month for free and it comes at a very, very affordable price. Now, let's find some opportunities and also show you the thought process on how to identify the ideal art opportunities for you, the ones where you have a great chance of success and the ones that are relevant or make sense for you. Let's start with some art competitions. Let's say we're a photographer and we are based in, let's say, North America because there are so many great uh, North American photographers throughout history and up to this very day. And I also know that there are quite a few following this channel. So let's select photography and North America. We're going to search and immediately we have a vast list of uh, art opportunities, of art contests. Um, the important thing here is we see many art opportunities where there are more uh, uh, art fields uh, applicable here in this search. For instance, the first few, they all uh, are applicable to all art forms, all different artistic disciplines. So with these contests, you can expect many, many artists applying to these contests. So we're trying to niche it down. We want to try a niche down art opportunity. So the chances are greater for us to be selected because the amount of uh, online applicants will be a lot smaller, of course. So we're going to look for one that is specifically for photography. And we have found one here in Boston, in the United States of America. We can see an award of $1,000, not too shabby, not too great uh, as well. Let's have uh, a look. So here we have a brief description about the art opportunity. We can also see the application fee of $25. So uh, here I believe this is quite all right. Let's have a look at uh, the website. Um, the thing that I see is that uh, their website is actually quite professional. I believe at first uh, sight this is actually a great platform specifically for photography, very uh, niched down. I believe this specific art opportunity is a great entry level art opportunity. Don't expect your career to uh, change drastically when being selected for this um, art opportunity, for this art contest or even when winning it. It's nice to have uh, a little bit of cash. Um, however, it's simply to have a great entry level opportunity to get your work reviewed and to get that bibliographic entry on your resume uh, that you have been selected, that there has been validation of an art world entity for your work. So um, my advice here would be uh, if you're a, a photographer in North America, uh, you can definitely go for it. Uh, but as I mentioned, this isn't the best or uh, uh, life changing art opportunity. However, it is a great example of an entry level one. So if you're a beginner or emerging photographer, definitely consider this um, art opportunity. 
Now let's go for painting and we'll cross the sea and head towards Europe. Once more, we can see many art opportunities that target uh, many different artistic disciplines. So we're going to start filtering here, looking for the ones that focus specifically on uh, painting. For instance, here, painting, drawing, sculpture. I believe this is already a, a great start. And then we'll we have a look at the reward. It's a tremendous um, cash prize and it also includes an exhibition. So and the cash prize is that your work will enter. Uh, the Phoenix uh, collection, so this is uh, a great um, art opportunity. We'll also see that it's specifically for German artists or um, people who are residents in uh, Germany. And here we also have, and this is what I love about um, Artendal.net, we also have an overview of past winners. So here we can actually check um, the level of um, uh, the artists that are able to win these um, uh, art opportunities to kind of see if we stand any chance or not. But here we can already see, considering the exhibition and um, purchasing of your art for 20,000 euros, this will be at a higher level and a bit more difficult, of course, um, to enter it if it's your first um, art contest you're looking for a selection or uh, to win. So if you want to see the level of these artists, uh, you can either go to artsy.net for instance, so um, let's go to um, last, uh, last time's winner, uh, Elike Schlenkhoff. And if the artist is on Artsy, it means that the artist is represented by a dealer who has been approved by the selection process of Artsy, which only accepts these art galleries with a decent level. So here we can definitely see that this opportunity, art opportunity based on uh, the reward, but also the uh, past winners, that is at quite a high level. If you are, for instance, a German artist who has done a couple of uh, gallery shows, who is um, um, making some sales, making some good money, being an emerging artist, this could be an art uh, prize that um, can elevate it, your career from going uh, from an emerging artist to a mid-career artist. So if that sounds like you, apply to this uh, uh, contest. You'll also see that there is no application fee. This is very often the case with the more prestigious art prizes, which is quite of ironic that the beginner artists need to charge more, the ones who are struggling, but it's in the nature, of course, of um, these uh, art prizes. And you'll also see that the uh, beginner artists that would uh, apply to this um, art opportunity will quickly be filtered out simply based on, for instance, uh, the resume of um, the artist. So make sure before you apply to these types of art opportunities that your career, your work, your resume is ready. And as an intermezzo, a brief reminder where to find all the information you need to have uh, to be taken serious as an artist, how you can improve your profile, make it more appealing, make it look more professional. So when they're applying your application for an art opportunity that they will take you serious, make sure to check our overview page, our uh, go-to page for advice for artists, where we have compiled all the uh, industry approved career advice formulated by Kai. Now, moving on, we also um, have a couple of more uh, art opportunities. We have another one here in uh, Germany, which seems a bit more at an entry level. So here it's more for works on paper specifically. Uh, we have a publication and an exhibition, which is great if you're looking for a first show. But here we can immediately see that the overall level of um, the art opportunity is uh, a bit lower. Not only the cash prize, but also there are no, uh, there are no specific um, uh, last prize winners uh, listed. And uh, this art opportunity is for all artists based in Europe. So if you are an Europe European painter or draughtsman or even making any type of work on paper, this could be a great uh, entry level art opportunity for you. Moving on, uh, here we have another one uh, in Germany specifically for figurative art. So this is also uh, quite interesting. Here we have a couple of last prize winners. We have this is, I believe, a normal um, uh, reward in, when it comes to the cash price. So this is a decent um, art opportunity and it is very niche down. So for painters, drawing um, and uh, the eligibility conditions are being born between 1992 and 2008. So it focuses 
on this demographic, the younger uh, artists. So if you are a figurative artist and uh, these conditions uh, are eligible for you, definitely consider applying to this art award. As you can see, once more, there is no application fee. Moving on, we have the Illustration Award from the Victoria and Albert Museum here. So uh, this is for uh, residents of the United Kingdom. And of course, the Victoria and Albert Museum is a renowned, prestigious institution. So you can definitely be sure that this is at a great level. We also see that uh, the cash rewards are uh, definitely at a good level, uh, not too high and um, no application fee. So this is a very trustworthy, um, uh, prestigious art award. So definitely worth um, considering this art opportunity as well when you're a resident of the United Kingdom. Here we have an art prize in Italy for painters, draftsmen and also engravings. They try to promote uh, emerging painters. So this is more at an entry level and we can also see this uh, being translated towards the uh, rewards. It's just 500 euros. We also see that there is an exhibition connected to it. So once more, the rewards are perhaps a bit less. However, we stand a chance as a new artist um, to be selected or to win this art prize. So this is a great entry level uh, art prize once more uh, in the beautiful Pescara in Italy. Now moving on, we're going to Asia and I'm interested in finding a video art award. Let's search. So once more, we have uh, two search results here, one for all art fields, and we also have one specifically for photography and video. So This will be perhaps our uh, best shot. There are no restrictions here. There is no application fee. We have a great uh, cash price. So let's have a look at the website where we can find some more information on both the photo section and the short film section. I wouldn't say this is video art per se, perhaps this is a, pr a prize that would be more suited for photographers. And here we can also have a look at the jury, which is also important to, to analyze and also to see kind of the level of the uh, art opportunity. Now, having reviewed a couple of art prizes, let's move forward with the art project grants. Art project grants or stipends are a great way to simply be paid to work as an artist on a specific project. So let's find an art project grant once more for North America. And in this case, we're going to select sculpture and uh, installation. Uh, sculpture and installation are very cost intensive uh, projects or artistic practices and for those artists it is advised to really apply very frequently to these art opportunities because by doing so our more monumental or more complex projects can be funded in advance and have that bibliographic uh, entry as well on our resume. So let's have a look. Once more we see some general um, uh, open calls and here we see already a first one in Boston uh, which is specifically for installation and sculpture. It is for residents of Massachusetts. There is no application fee. The grant consists of $30,000 and we see that they have a very specific mission here. So, so make sure that your vision as an artist resonates with their mission. Here we have an art award for sculpture as well However, here it is in uh, New York and it is for residents of the United States and artists with a minimum of 20 years experience. We have a recital of the previous artist who has um, won the grant and here it is also important to notice the uh, Gottlieb Foundation, which, uh, which is of course a prestigious uh, foundation that really supports the art. So this is a great uh, art opportunity or a great art grant. Please note that the level here is also quite important. I believe this won't be an entry level um, art opportunity and a great way once more to kind of see the level of um, uh, the previous artists is not only to go to um, Artsy, but also for instance, to Art Facts. This is a tool that um, we use very, very often, can be very useful to upload your own um, exhibitions, etc. But you could also, for instance, when looking for these um, artist opportunities, see the level of the artists. So for instance, um, this is an artist who has won the grant in the past. 
and we can kind of see an overview uh, when it comes to their uh, ranking, which shows at which venues. And here we see already some institutional shows. This is, is quite a good level. This is the f using the free version um, of uh, Artifacts. However, you could also opt for a subscription and then you can see all the information. Uh, you can also see the exact uh, ranking and also the career trend of the artist. Perhaps it is time to look for some artist residencies. Artist residencies are of course very, very important. Um, there are places where you can work on your art in an ideal environment and they're also being paid to do so. And perhaps even more important, at the end of a residency there is very often uh, a show but also you get to know a lot of new people, often important people that could be very important uh, for your further career and for your personal network. So let's have a look at South America for some um, artist residencies. So here here we have once more an overview, first the art fields, but also what the residency provides, which is of course quite important. Here you have a studio that's being offered, you could also see some previous participants. The studio is rent free, which is quite important I feel with these artist residencies. Um, some will charge um, a symbolic fee. So let's have a look at the artist here. So we can see based on the ranking of uh, previous artists that um, participated in this artist residency that this is at a very, very decent level. So if you're in South America, there is no application fee attached here. It is rent free. You'll work together with a different artist, which is great for networking purposes. And you can work on your art in the ideal environment. Now, moving on, let's look for some exhibition open calls. As we have discussed many times on this channel, it is not accepted for an artist to proactively look for exhibitions by cold calling art galleries. However, with Artendo.net and with Art Opportunities, there are open calls when galleries are looking for uh, artists to exhibit or in some cases even museum institutions. So perhaps this time we'll travel to Australia. And here we have an exhibition open call for residents from Australia. There is no application fee, which is of course great. It is focused specifically on installation or sculpture. It is an outdoor show and the price consists of 10,000 Australian dollars. You can have a further look on their website as well. And it looks like this is a great entry level artist opportunity. So now it is up to you. Go to Advice for Artists to professionalize your profile first and then when you're ready there are numerous art opportunities waiting for you and they can all be found on artendal.net. I would advise you to spend one day every single month to browse, search and apply to art opportunities suited for you using these 11 tips and it will only be a matter of time to see your first selection for an award, your first artist residency, your first gallery show via an open call, your first grant to realize a monumental project or sculpture or public piece of art, and then the snowball effect can start to work. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Feel free to watch our video on the best books for artists next. Support us on Patreon and please consider subscribing to stay posted for more contemporary art. Bye.